everybody. This is probably going to be my longest video and it's my most popular one and perhaps the most important one. Let's talk about food prep. This is always a subject that everyone is eager to um, dive into. You have a lot of questions about it, maybe a lot of fears surrounding it. It's something maybe you've never done before. So let's just dive right in and talk about it. Um, first of all, I've, I've just come back from the grocery store. Um, preparation is key in this program. It's huge. You really cannot be successful in this program without preparing. So I will encourage you to set a plan. This right here, the eating plan guide, is your Bible. It has all the information you need to know about your containers, about what foods go in which containers. Um, there are recipes for dressings. There are recipes for seasonings. There's all kinds of stuff in this booklet. So definitely read through it. Keep it close by. I keep mine in my kitchen drawer, so I'm all, I always have it. So the, base, the, the best way to approach food prep is to pick a day once a week that you can really knock out some good preparation. Um, I know when I first started the 21 Day Fix last fall, um, many people talked about you should do your food prep on Sunday. And I really struggled. I kept trying to do it on Sunday. And then it just dawned on me at some point in time, it doesn't work for me on Sunday. My kids are around, my husband's home, we do things as a family. I would all of a sudden realize, oh my gosh, it's five o'clock, I haven't gone to the grocery store yet, I don't have a, you know, a list of foods, I didn't have, I just was very stressful on Sundays. So for me, I always prep on Monday mornings. I take all of my kids to school and then I head to the grocery store as soon as I drop the last child off. And that's when I do my food prep. So it doesn't matter what day a week you do it, I just urge you to pick a day to do it and have a plan and to um, you know stick to that. Now I do go to the grocery store more than once a week but I get most of my food prep for the week done on Mondays and food prep really doesn't have to be complicated. I know before you start these programs many people go on Pinterest and you start pinning recipes for the 21 day fix and you start googling 21 day fix approved recipes and all that kind of stuff. Do not stress yourself out. If this is your first round what I recommend is keeping it as simple as possible. I basically have the same thing for breakfast and the same thing for lunch almost every single day. And then I mix it up um, with dinner and I do different recipes for dinner. But truly, you just have to find what works for you and in the beginning, again, just keep it simple. Now, if this, your, if this is your second or third round, you might want to start experimenting with new things. Um, but it's completely up to you. Just find what works, don't stress about it, and know that it does get easier every week. Um, many people type out menus for the week. I personally, um, the way I do it is, again, I plan out my breakfasts and my lunches for the week because that's just a huge chunk. And then I take the dinners every two to three days at a time. So for instance, I have tonight's dinner planned and I have tomorrow night's dinner planned. Um, and Wednesday nights too, actually. I forgot to have something falling in the, in the, um, in the fridge. So I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday planned already, which makes my life a lot easier. And then I know that I'll probably go to the grocery store maybe Wednesday or Thursday. And it just, it doesn't stress me out. Now, um, we have lots and lots of recipes in the file section of our group. If you cannot find where they are, just ask. Because um, a lot of the recipes I'm going to mention while I'm talking about food prep are all in that section. So I've gone to the grocery store. I typically buy the same items every week. Um, again, the first time you go, you're going to be stressed. You might have a very long list of things, and that's what I did. I think I went through and I um, circled like all of the foods that I liked on all of the list in the eating plan guide, and I just went and bought them. I just really didn't have a good plan. Um, so if you want to go ahead and think about it, again, I, I don't mean to um, keep saying this, but I just want you to know keeping it simple is really the best way to go for your first round. So maybe pick one or two things that you'd like to have for breakfast one or two things for lunch and just try it out for this first week or um, if you're easing into it this week or definitely get started with day one next week. Um, so I have the same thing for breakfast every day. I have Greek yogurt. So about once a month I go to Costco. This is not the Greek yogurt I get from Costco. It's a little bit bigger. Um, so it's about time for me to go. But I get, you know, two or three or four big things of Greek yogurt. I eat Greek yogurt every single morning for breakfast. If you're struggling, if you don't like Greek yogurt, if you need some tips, just ask. I know a lot of people don't like the texture or the flavor. Personally, I didn't like it to begin with either. I used to have, I 
always had to add a lot of stuff. Now I can eat it plain, believe it or not. I never thought I'd get there, but my taste buds have truly changed over the past eight months that I've been doing this. Um, a year ago, I never would have touched Greek yogurt. Now I use it, um, like I said, I eat it for breakfast. I use it in place of sour cream, and, um, and I really like it. So I always have Greek yogurt, and then one of the things that I prep once a week is I make homemade granola. That recipe is in the file section. Um, I love making my own granola because I can control everything that goes into it. I can control how much it's sweetened. I use raw honey or you can use pure maple syrup. Um, and it just, you know what's in it. You know, um, you know, it counts as a yellow. So I will go ahead and say that. That's the one question I always get is what is granola in? And unfortunately, it's a yellow. Um, but um, it's delicious. That's what I have every morning is Greek yogurt, granola, and some blueberries or strawberries. Um, now for lunches, now that the weather's warmer, I'm probably going to be going back to salads. When, uh, in the winter time, I was making lots of soups and stews, and those were fantastic. I'd make a big batch for dinner, and then I'd eat off of, you know, the soup the next several days. Um, now what I'm doing is either salads with some kind of protein, like grilled chicken, or I have a delicious, um, quiche recipe that's in the file section. It's called, um, I think it's just called crustless quiche. And it's so delicious. So that's what I'm on. You'll, you'll notice um, when you see me post my accountability every day, I kind of get stuck on certain things. Um, so for a long time, I was stuck on fatouche. A lot of people have heard me talk about fatouche, and that's what I was having every day for lunch. I still got ingredients um, for fatouche today because I think I'm still going to throw it in some this week. But um, I'm really, really digging the um, crustless quiche. So that's another thing I get every week. I get a bunch of eggs. Um, a lot of people in their food prep, they go ahead and boil, you know, a dozen eggs at the beginning of the week and eat off those for lunch or snack. Um, I did that for my first two rounds, and I just can't have any more boiled eggs. I'm just so over boiled eggs because of the amount of boiled eggs I ate when I first started this program that I haven't been able to go back there, but I'm happy that I've been able to add quiche in because I think eggs are a great option for breakfast and lunches and even dinner, but um, the crustless quiche, y'all, y'all try it, it's amazing. Um, so anyway, in the winters I was eating soups and now I think I'm gonna alternate between salads with chicken and crustless quiche. Um, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, sometimes I forget what I've been talking about. Um, so I, today I got all the ingredients, asparagus and tomatoes and spinach, for crustless quiche, every week I buy one of these big things of um, spinach. If I'm going to Costco, I buy an even bigger one. I get all my produce from Costco. That obviously doesn't last um, for the entire month, but it'll last for at least a week. Um, if you put a paper towel in your spinach, that absorb, absorbs the moisture and helps it last longer. You can put it in your salads too. Um, I always, always add spinach to my Shakeology every day. I am going to have a separate video on Shakeology, so I'll talk about that. But um, I always get spinach for my shakes. I always get frozen fruit for my shakes. Um, fresh fruit for my breakfast and if I want any for lunch. Um, lately now I've been buying zucchini. This is from my farm basket last week. It is the biggest zucchini I think I've ever seen. Um, I used to eat a lot of pasta and now I um, re have replaced it, which I still, you know, I think back to how I used to eat. And I'm still really amazed. I mean, my family used to eat probably three, we, we'd have pasta probably three to four times a week. And two or three of those times, the pasta dish would be a heavy cream sauce. Um, so I have successfully put, replaced it, for me at least. With the kids, I usually mix regular noodles with some zucchini noodles. So I highly recommend, let me show you, get, getting one of these. Um, there are lots of different brands. I think this is called a Vegetti, and I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond. I think it was less than $10, and then I used my 20% off coupon. It works great. I know there's some really expensive ones out there, like on Amazon and then at Southern Season if you're local. But um, this one does a great job. It, I, well, I take that back. This ginormous zucchini, I'm having a hard time getting it to fit. Go ahead and insert your inappropriate joke right there. Um, what else do I want to say about food prep? Um, again, keep it as simple as possible. Um, if you want to ask, there are people who do plan out their menus for the entire week. Um, when I did a three-day cleanse, I did that, and that really helped me. Um, at this point, I've been doing this for so long, 
I know the things I need to get every week. I, um, like I said, I eat the same thing for breakfast every single morning. My life just doesn't feel complete if I don't have my Greek yogurt, my granola, and my blueberries. Um, and then the same thing for lunch. And then I'll have uh, one of our recipes that are in, in the file section. Um, so this week we're going to be sharing some recipes. I'll be talking about some sites that I use. But again, just keep it simple. If you have any questions about food prep, just let me know. Um, I think that's probably all I want to say about it. Just find something that works for you. Know that the first week it's going to take you a little bit longer. Um, I, at this point, can get food prep done depending upon if I'm baking something. You know, the granola takes a little bit of time. The crustless quiche, I think, has to bake for maybe 30 minutes. So, um, but the actual prep time I can do in 30 minutes or so. A lot of people will go ahead and roast their vegetables for the week, um, make, you know, chicken or fish for the week. Um, it is completely up to you. There's no right or wrong way to do it, but just know that the more you prepare, the more successful you'll be. Um, whether or not you write it out, that's, you know, that's what do, again, whatever works for you. Some people type their lists out. Um, you should go to the grocery store with some sort of plan or list so you know what you are buying so that you don't just buy, you know, whatever. Um, but just going in with a plan and keeping it simple and getting ready to, oh, Hank's here, so he was just, I think, running to the potty. So anyway, I think that's all I want to say about food prep. If you have any questions, please post them below. And again, every day this week, we're going to be talking more and more about things you need to know to prepare for next week. So just drop your questions below, and I'll see you tomorrow.